Welcome to Premiere Pro Beyond Basics. Today we're going to go over quickly removing green screen from your motion graphics so you can incorporate them in any video project. Let's get started. First we'll open up our project or start a new one in Premiere Pro. We're using the most recent version of Premiere Pro but these instructions will work for pretty much any version. We'll start out by pulling our green screen clip into our project. It's always a good idea to have your background video or graphic in place while you're removing the green screen so you can see how it blends together. We have two files in our project now and we're going to pull them over to our timeline making sure our background clip is below our green screen clip. Zoom in on the object so you can see all the sides clearly. With your green screen layer selected, go to your effects panel and type in Ultra. Click on the Ultra effect and drag it to your green screen layer. You'll notice the Ultra Key function shows up in your layer's effect controls with some drop-down adjustments to dial in your background color removal. First we're going to click on the color picker and click on the green area in your preview screen. You'll notice most of the green background magically disappears, showing your background layer in place. If the green screen was created properly, this should really be the only step you need to take, but we'll cover two of the key adjustments in the Ultra Key effect. At the bottom of the matte generation dropdown, try adjusting the pedestal slider and see how it removes any outline around the subject. But also note how it will completely take away any transparent areas like the glass if you go too far. Just a slight adjustment on the pedestal should be fine. The other adjustment we want to focus on is the choke under the matte cleanup. You'll notice how it softens the outline of the subject and brings in the shadows a lot. Slightly adjusting this and the pedestal should give you excellent results. Set your preview back to fit and now see how your clip plays in your timeline. That's all there is to it. Feel free to use the clips down below to practice with if you don't have any to work with at the moment. And make sure you check out some of the resources I listed below. Thanks for following along and let us know down below if you have any questions or helpful input on this topic. Until then, we hope to see you again on our next Premiere Pro Beyond Basics tutorial.